This is my Little People Big World Roloff Family Update for February 2023. Let's catch up with Zach and Tori, Amy and Chris, Matt and Karen, Jeremy and Audrey, and Jacob and Isabel. So let's start the update with a sad medical emergency situation. Unfortunately, Zach had to have an emergency brain surgery to fix the shunt in his brain. The shunt actually drained fluid away from his brain so it doesn't cause problems. And longtime fans will remember that the shunt has caused problems before and dear Zach in the past had had an operation to fix it. Since then, you know, Tori had posted this to her stories stating that Zach had to have an emergency surgery and that she was requesting prayers. And of course, the fans came through with the prayers. She then posted these pictures of Zach recovering from his hospital bed after this major brain surgery and said, Not exactly how we saw our week going. Zachary had emergency shunt revision this morning. It's been a scary 72 hours, but he is doing well and recovering. Thank you so much to everyone for the prayers that you have covered us in. We feel them. We are also incredibly blessed by our neurosurgeon team and their attentiveness to Zach's needs. Thank you to our friends and family who have all reached out asking to help. We feel so loved and supported by you. Also, shout out to Amy for holding down the fort and playing hide and seek for who knows how many hours. I'm here praying that Zach's recovery is quick and easy and that this will be our answered prayers to relieving his migraines. So it seems like Zach had been having migraines for a bit before this even happened or something. And honestly, I feel so bad for Zach because throughout the years, He's had to have so many surgeries. He just deserves a break, honestly. And meanwhile, Amy Roloff had to cancel her live on social media because she was actually watching Zach's kids, Lila Jackson and Josiah, and holding down the fort, just like Tori said. i with you, but you know what? You have to rise to the occasion, and I was happy to be able to uh, for Zach and Tori. I'm over here watching the grandkids while Zach and Tori uh, handle and um, while she can be there for Zach. Uh, Zach is in the hospital. He has to go through uh, some surgery. And so we're just hoping and wishing for the best with lots of prayers. She's basically a hero in this situation for swooping in and at least, you know, giving some child care help. While this was all playing out on Instagram, I thought I would look at Matt's profile for to see if I can get more update and I was really hoping everything was going to be okay and literally saw Matt posting about a party. This is what I saw guys. I think he was on a cruise which uh, was interesting and he was posting also with a man who has a podcast about fatherhood. Anyways. The optics immediately weren't that great. Then Matt did post about Zach saying that Tori was advocating for him tooth and nail and that he was in touch. Prayers for Zach to make a quick recovery and for Tori who is probably really stressed out having to juggle everything. Matt is not in Oregon at the moment as you may have guessed and he said under a series of pictures like this that he was just in Mexico and is now going to Arizona. He gave fans a quick update about what he's up to actually and uh, this is what he said. I've been way behind on social media. So much has happened that I'll probably never catch up but there's a start. Me, Karen, and her wonderful parents went on a Mexico cruise, hit all our fave ports. It was an amazing sunny getaway from the relentless cold and constant rain in Oregon. Jacob and Jason okayed me to get out of their way again while they took good care of the farm and hosted the guests staying in the short-term rental. We are now back in AZ to check in on mom and celebrate a big day with her tomorrow. More on that later. Enjoy a few snaps of the Celebrity Solstice, one of my very favorite ships ever. Hope you are all well and safe. So sounds like Jacob and Jason, these guys are like running the farm right now. So all right. 
Anyway, speaking of the farm, it's a short-term rental now, as we know. And remember when Amy said on the show that she could just not picture her kids staying there after all this? Well, apparently Molly and her husband did stay there recently, so at least Molly likes the idea. I think mostly it's Zach and Jeremy that are, you know, mostly vexed about the farm. Molly is more like probably easygoing and happy to stay there and stay out of the drama. Other than saving the day and helping Tori and Zach by watching the kids through a medical emergency, Amy is doing well and look how cute her rescue dog Daisy is now. She's relaxing with Chris, making soup, and every now and then she goes to Michigan, usually without Chris actually, to spend time with her dad and family. Her dad looks great for his age by the way. As for Jeremy and Audrey, they're still busy being the perfect couple, going on dates all the time, running through fields, and promoting their books and essential oils. Seriously though, why is their Instagram content so perfect? They are thriving at their new house next to the train tracks where Jeremy proposed. It's like a storybook. And as for Jacob, seems like he's doing a lot of work on the farm. He's Matt's right-hand man now, and he went to the Oregon Zoo with his little family recently. Also, he's reading a ton of books, it seems. He's a reader, that Jacob. And even has an Instagram account called Jacob Reads, I discovered. And he's reading all these political theory type books, and I mean... I no way think that's a bad thing. He's expanding his mind over there in Oregon, you know, all about politics and such. And as for the age-old question, will Little People Big World continue? Like, is it cancelled? What's the deal? Honestly, guys, no one knows anything for sure. It seems like the cast doesn't even know right now, but honestly... I'm kind of on the fence in terms of what I think will happen. I really hope that the series continues. I think that either way, they need to like bring in more family members or other cast. It probably won't or can't last long if it stays the same with the same old feuds and like only like six cast members, like three couples. There's only so many times they can interact. So like, Maybe now the Roloffs can go to some family therapy retreat, like on those like e-reality shows, like family therapy. And we can bring in Dr. Drew or something. I mean, who wouldn't watch that? Also, did you guys ever wonder why there isn't like a tell-all at the end of the season? I feel like there are a lot of like unanswered questions or, you know, things to say. I mean, Sister Wives gets the tell-all. Why doesn't Little People Big World? Alright guys, thanks so much for watching this video the whole way through. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like this video and I will be back with more roll-off content and yeah, I mean, I'm really hoping for a new season coming through, right? I mean, let's see. Bye guys!